welcome all to the metabolic class. Let us discuss now about the function of glycation and how the glycation will be nice whenever the glucose is recorded in the body. The general functions of glycogen. Glycogen is a storage form of carbohydrates in the human body. The major sites of storage are liver and muscle. The major function of liver glycogen is to provide glucose during fasting. When the blood glucose level lowers, liver glycogen is broken down and helps to maintain blood glucose level. After taking food, blood sugar tends to rise, which causes glycogen deposition in the liver. About five hours after taking food, the blood glucose tends to fall. The glycogen is lights to glucose that the energy needs so much. The function of muscle glycogen is to act as a reserve fuel for muscle contraction. Let us begin with glycolysis. So glycogenolysis, how the glycogenolysis process is used to release the glucose into the blood whenever the glucose concentration tends to get lower. Glycogen phosphorylase is an enzyme which removes glucose as glucose one phosphate from glycogen. It contains pyridoxine phosphate as a phosphatic group. The alpha-1 for linkage in the glycogen are cleaved. It removes glucose units one at a time. The enzyme sequentially hydrolyzes alpha-1 for glycosidic linkage till it reaches glucose residue, three to four glucose units, which should be away from the branching point. Once if the branching point is nearer, this glucose uh, glycogen phosphorylase cannot be one six linkage. So what happens is the glycogen phosphorylase can act only on, on the alpha-1 for linkage. So if glycogen phosphorylase only acting on the glycogen will produce uh, limit dextrin. So now from the D-branching enzyme, this D-branching enzyme is a bicontrol enzyme which has alpha-1,4 to alpha-1,4 glucane transferase activity and also alpha-1,6 glucosidase D-branching activity. This glucose residue is released as free glucose. Whereas the previous alpha-1,4 linkage linkage glucose as well as as glucose-1 phosphate, the glucose glucose will be released as free glucose. At this stage, the ratio of glucose-1 phosphate to free glucose will be about 8 is to 1 ratio. The transferase and alpha-1,6 glucosidase will together convert the branching point to a linear one with the mole of the branch point, phosphorylase enzyme now can produce its action. Phosphoglucomutase, phosphorylase reaction produces glucose 1-phosphate, which cannot be utilized as such by the system. So while the B-branching enzyme releases as glucose itself, the glucose 1-phosphate is converted to glucose 6-phosphate by means of phosphoglucomutase enzyme. The phosphoglucomutase enzyme converts glucose 1-phosphate to glucose 6-phosphate. Now glucose 6-phosphate can enter into the glycolytic pathway if it is in to the cell is in the energy. The liver hepatic glucose 6-phosphatase hydrolyzes glucose 6-phosphate to glucose. The free glucose now can be entering into your bloodstream in order to maintain the glucose concentration in the body. So this is how the glycogen which is stored is cleaved and it is removed either in the form of glucose 1 phosphate or as free glucose. If it is in the form of glucose 1 phosphate, it is again converted to free glucose and the free glucose actually enters into the bloodstream where it increases the concentration of blood glucose if the blood glucose concentration goes low.